card shop of the future. These are the lowest prices I've ever seen in my life. I could easily spend over $10,000 in one sitting. I am gonna buy cards with Jeff Wilson. We're gonna go through some of his prices and talk about the card shop of the future. Welcome to Cards HQ. This is gonna change the hobby forever. Welcome to Cards HQ. I'm here with... Hey, hello! This man has been working and grinding non-stop. Obviously, you can hear in the voice. Jeff and I are going to buy some cards today at Cards HQ. I'm super excited. Let's do this. Yeah, man. I'm happy to have you as a customer, Jeff. I am... I, an opening night. If I Let's could, go. If I could, I would spend the night in the card shop. Uh, would you ever let me? Uh, actually, that would be some pretty good content. Maybe we'll have to do that someday. We might come back. Let's do it. All right. All right let's buy some cards. We got some older stuff. We got Bill Russell. You got a lot of like nice older cards. You got 80s Fleer, 1986 Fleer. If I was 14 years old yeah. and I came into this shop, and I, and I could get the bucks. 1998 SP Authentic yeah. like for $15. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's that's pretty amazing. Look at that. And that's like 15 bucks. 15 I mean, bucks. For a Jordan card, right? It's insane. We try to put a lot of that stuff in our showcases. Like, you know, cards that are under 50 bucks that are cool cards that appeal to people with big name players. We've really tried to do a lot of that. I mean, look at this. We got a 1972-73 Wilt Chamberlain. To me, when I ever, whenever I see like a card like this, it's like the price of grading and to get the card right. Any slab for five to 10 bucks is, I mean, it, it's, a, it's, not a, it's not a big risk. Well, know? especially if it's an all-time great. I mean, yeah. Will Chamberlain, Michael Jordan, Dr. J, you know, yeah. can't go wrong with any of these guys. Larry Bird, we got in this case. Magic Johnson, Patrick Ewing, like. My first purchase has to be this. Okay. Man. I think 10 bucks on this, it's really just affordable and it's a cool card. Yeah, so. it's a cool card. I'm gonna card. hand the slabs okay. right by to you. Right. I wanna do this deal with you. Okay, sounds good. So let's talk about this. I think it's awesome that this is in here. This is a 1986 Fleer Mint 8. Yeah. And look what we have in the background oh, here. Isn't this beautiful? I mean, this. Tell me about this because I know this I, I don't know about this. Yeah, I've seen this, it in was, the videos. this was painted by Jay Geeker Studio, custom hand painted uh, painting oh, recreation of, of course, the famous 1986 Fleer Jordan. And I think it's just a beautiful piece. Wow. Um, I, yeah, I, I had it painted by him, and we're actually going to be selling. Uh, smaller versions of it uh, that he also hand painted. That's amazing. So, yeah. I mean, it goes really well with this card. Absolutely iconic. If you had to pick a card for me to buy, do you think it's a good deal and it's pretty cool? What would In you this showcase? Yeah, you got to pick one card. I want to um, kind of do that with each one. Man, I would go for. I'm gonna go for either a Jordan or a Kobe. Okay. I think I'll go for one of those two. The decade of excellent Jordan, decade of excellence Jordans are kind of cool because they're the recreation of the of the eighty of the eighty six Fleer. Yeah. Uh, 45 bucks for a nine in that. Or if you want something more value oriented, like this, a $15 Kobe. Is that a rookie? Um, from 19, from 1996. Yeah, it's a rookie, yeah. A rookie Kobe for 15 bucks. I mean. I mean, I'm going back to Los Angeles. That's pretty cool. I think you should pick that up. 15 bucks for a rookie Kobe. I'm in. I think you should do that. I could be here all night. Yeah. You know, right now, I just finished a big basketball game. It's 1036. And I feel like we're, we're, we're two showcases in. There's a card I love in this one. What is it? It's that, it's that LeBron James to find gravity. And it's a 10. And that was a short print from Adonis. And I love the Define gravity inserts. I think they're cool looking. And it's a PSA 10. And it's LeBron. And you're going back to LA. And that just, all of those things seem to fit together for me. I remember this card. Are those beautiful cards? It's, I think it's a really nice looking card. It's got like, it's like a plexiglass. Yeah, yeah. and it's a PSA 10 for 40 bucks. So I just think that's one you gotta pick up personally. I gotta, I gotta take it. I love this card for one reason. Yeah. And it's a very like minor detail you have to notice, right? I like the shoes Kobe's wearing, the crazy oh, eights. It's a, it's a classic, that was from the dunk contest and he's in the warm up. That's cool. That's cool. And his second year, yeah. 15 bucks for Kobe. I left Burbank and I left LA to come to Atlanta and I feel like I'm finding more Kobe cards here than I can count. We, you know, we really tried to lean into getting the big name stars in the showcases. So we leaned into buying a lot of Kobe, buying a lot of Jordan. Buying a lot of uh, you know the all-time greats, guys people love to collect. A lot of LeBron, Steve Nash. I yeah. love Steve Nash. Like, and the amazing thing is like you couldn't argue with the price. I think that's like a that's an interesting thing because usually at shops, it's either everything's too high, too low, or you got to really hustle for a few yeah. hours and you got to come there twice a week to get the deal. We try to price everything very fairly. We try to price everything around recent comps or in some cases below comps. Let's take this. I'll take this Joe Dumars, if it's game used. 
Oh it's game worn. That, eight bucks that, for a game worn Joe I, I have to, bro. It's eight bucks. Eight bucks. And it's like this is a this is at a price point where it's like I won't even offer you five. Right. Like eight bucks right. is eight bucks. Right. Like, are we gonna cater to the Atlanta Braves and the Atlanta Hawks and the Falcons market, or what do we what do we see yeah, here? Yeah, especially the Braves. I mean, all the teams for sure, but the Braves, especially in Atlanta, have a huge following, uh, much like the Dodgers do in LA. And so uh, you're definitely gonna see a lot of Braves cards. But they're also going to be the most difficult ones for us to keep in stock, probably, for that reason as well. Here you got a lot more nice, affordable Jordans. I, mean, I think that one's pretty cool, personally. His number 23 in the background is 15 bucks. Um, all these Jordans in this area are 15 bucks. I mean, I mean, there's tons of them. Like, look, all these are 15 bucks, 15 bucks. These ones up here are 15 bucks. These ones over here are 15 bucks. Um, I got to pick one Jordan. You got to pick it out pick for me. Jordan. Color match, stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. Sure. It's an appealing card, so I'm gonna I'm gonna snag that. Awesome. And I gotta take this one. I love Fleer Metal. They're very tough to grade. Tim Duncan. But it's Tim Duncan, yeah. the big fundamental. I was here setting up the store when Luca was down the road scoring 73 points on my Atlanta Hawks. I was talking about but this. We had the game on up here. I was watching it. You were yeah. watching. I was yeah. talking with a lot of people, and we were talking about how the NBA is so competitive. Like I feel like 60 is the new 40. Yeah. 70. Like, do you think a player can actually like if you had to pick one player that could hit 100 points? Like, who would you pick on that? I I don't know that I don't know that Steph Curry can do it anymore. I would have said like Steph Curry in his prime a few years ago. I would have been a, would have been a pick of mine because if he just got hot from three, he could just drain it. I don't know the next generation up like I don't know. Could you get that from someone like Shea Gilgis Alexander someday or something he's amazing like that? Too. Yeah, yeah, he's really good. He's really really good. Uh, but I mean, maybe Luca is the most obvious candidate since he just did 73. Oh, yeah. So I personally love the Crusade design. And that's Anthony Davis' rookie card. Is it really? That's 2012, so that's his, you know, that's his rookie year. Um, so I think that that's really cool. And then there's also a 2012 Steph Curry from 2012 Prism in a 10. Both of those are ones that I really, really like. But I think that's a cool card for eye appeal. You know, it's... Um, it's a rookie card, it's got cool eye appeal, it's a refractor, it's a PSA 10. So, it's one yeah. that I like. I don't know if you're like me, but like, do you ever get into that player worn versus game worn thing where you you gotta prefer game worn? Game worn is definitely better. Is that game worn? It's game worn. It's game worn for 120 bucks. I, I, LeBron a, game worn. It's a classic. It's not bad. I love LeBron game worn. I, I love game worn. I can see. Just, uh, I mean, we just talked about this guy. We decided to do an entire case of Luca. We decided well, a little bit of a little bit of uh, other players in the bottom, yeah. but mainly all case of Luca. There's a uh, Luca, Luca, Luca. We bought a big Luca collection off a guy. He's putting up amazing numbers. At some point, he's got to be MVP, right? At some point. I think so. Point. I think Luca get there eventually. Luca can se separate out from everybody else. Yeah. All right, we're gonna pass on the Lucas right now. Look at this. Shade. A lot of high appeal. This is a lot of high appeal. Like, when we're so exactly. Yeah. So when we're looking into cards, I would say. Win, like a player that's marketable, they can win games, yeah. and then I appeal. Yeah. Would you add anything else to factor in win, how you buy cards? No, I mean, I mean, obviously, yeah, I mean, grade obviously can make it can make a difference as well. But like, yeah, a marketable player, known player, good looking card. I mean, that definitely is that definitely is an important piece of the puzzle. It's a beautiful. The tiger stripes are, are important. Yeah, yeah I like that. All right, so I'm gonna go in on here. And I'm just gonna say it. I love this Kobe. 2011. That was my second year collecting. Yeah. The VIP yeah, that's party. Early Panini. That's Panini VIP. It's right when they were getting into basketball cards, you know. It yeah. was early Panini. The first couple of years of Panini. Um, and that's uh, it's a nice Kobe. It's a nice photo of him for sure. It. It's a 32nd National. There you go. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pick that up. That's a legend card right there. That's not a bad one for sure. And then there's also some really nice Shea Gilgis Alexander. If you want to do something more modern. He's obviously just balling out, so I like his market. I'm gonna tap into the collector side of me. Okay, you're going Jared Fox. I, I, I gotta go with my kings. I'm gonna okay. take both of these. There you go. I'm gonna take these home. As I moved to LA, I talked about it. I left a lot of my PC back at my parents. Um, so I'm gonna pick these up and add these to my PC box. Well, Keegan Murray, De'Aaron Fox, right there. That's a good way to uh, end my buying with you. And now I gotta awesome. do some. I gotta do some personal buying, of okay. course. So I appreciate um, it, Jay. Yeah, no, I, I appreciate you. Yeah. And, you know. My question for you to end this is, you're obviously like trying to balance out inventory right, right. now. 
what is your goal for the rest of the year? Like, if you had to put top three goals coming into this shop opening up, let's just say first six months, what are we talking here? So, I mean, we want to, uh, obviously we want to have great inventory for the people in Atlanta, but what I really also want to achieve is to be able to give the Cards HQ experience to people who can't make it to Atlanta. So we're going to be doing a, a ton of live streaming every single day, every single night, starting in a few weeks. We're opening up the shop, and a few weeks later, we're going to start layering in the live streaming. We've got some really innovative ways that we're going to be doing live streaming, like right in the aisles of the shop. We're going to be selling cards out of the showcases live. Instead of just being off in a room, we're going to be live from the showcases. So stuff like that. So my goal for the next six months is to really build a great community online, let people all over the world experience Cards HQ, even if they're not here, and really get all of our processes down, all of our operations down, to be able to buy enough, to be able to have the showcases filled for the people in Atlanta and for the people online. I love that because yeah. not everybody can make it out to the card shows, not everybody can make it out to the, sh to the shop. So right. that's why it's fun to do content and go on whatnot and live stream and all yeah. that other good stuff. So Jeff. I appreciate it, man. I, I'll get you checked out on all these. Yeah, Look let's go. This. Let's go check out. I got I got to do it. It, it. You know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of when Nat Turner was at PSA taking in submissions at the yeah, National. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. I love to yeah. see that. So check yeah. me out. Let's do it. Jeff's on the clock. He's got to check me out. <laughs> so this, the cool thing about this is we can check you out from the aisles. So we're actually going to have people walking around with these when the store opens. So if you pull a card out of a showcase, they just scan it right then. And they've got your order and then you can just tap your card and go. So you don't even have to come to the checkout counter. I have so but, many questions, but, you but can, I'm going to save it for to the tomorrow. checkout counter. So there you go. Look, it found the exact card. Darren Fox, $15. So I'm going to do another one. So there you go, $25. The Tim Duncan, 10 bucks. The Michael Jordan, 15 bucks. The Steve Nash, five bucks. This is unbelievable. Another Steve Nash, 10 bucks. The Kobe, 15 bucks. The LeBron, 40 bucks. What inspired this innovative card thing? I gotta ask you while you're doing We've this. We've really been trying to innovate. We've been putting a lot of thought into it. Ryan is one of the partners in the shop here. He's really helped with the point of sale and figuring this whole piece of it out. But like our goal the whole way through was to make this the most innovative car shop and to really make the collector experience great by building innovations like this into the shop and being able to check you out right there. Wow. Go to the cart. I can check you out right now. $210 and 21 cents is going to be your total. So you do credit card. Yep, we'll do credit. So we'll, do that. We'll check out and. That's all it. All you have it's, to do is tap. It's that easy. Tap and you're done. That's it. It's that easy. That's it, man. And I, if I wanted to, you could have checked me out in the aisle and I could have just I walked out. I could have checked you out in the aisle. Wow. Yeah. This is like, yeah. I'm in shock. Yeah. Thank you That's so cool. much. For sure, man. That's awesome. Absolutely. I can't Absolutely. wait to film more content and uh, I'm holding you up to it. I want to spend the night here one night and see what I can do. You got it. You all right, man. It. I'll live stream all night here. Awesome. Hey, let's do it. Carter, Ryan, and Jeff. Wow. Done. What's your PSA list? coming soon. MLS. Done. Amazing choices. But I'm, now we're getting into what we like for our WhatNot streams, which you guys are going to be streaming on as well. Oh yeah, all the time. Streaming on WhatNot, but like to buy a gold select, PSA 9, Nico Collins, wow. Anthony Richardson, and look at this Kenneth Murray gold vinyl. We like to buy between like 20 and 125, I'd say. Actually 20 and 100 for right now. Okay. It's an Adrian Peterson franchise. It's got to be game used yeah. though. Oh Hopefully. my god. Yeah, game Let's used, go. bro. Go. Let's go. That's a win, baby. So obviously you would go to shows and now you're owning, like, I mean, you're managing the shop? Yep. Buying, managing, everything, dude. It's a, it's a whirlwind. It's incredible. I know. I got to be and on it the happened, road like, it's, it's like happening so fast. Yeah. Too. It's a little surreal. I mean, this has been a two year process. Really. Was this a dream for you as a child? Yeah, absolutely. Nice Brees Hall. It's out of 23, but it's nice. As far as car, card collector 2 didn't grab this yet. I know. Dang. Legend, bro. Yeah. That was a $3,100 card. Yeah. That thing went down quick. I'm in shock. I like Kenny Pickett numbered. I mean, that's, yeah. that's not bad. Look at that patch on George Pickens. Man, for, for 20 bucks? That's numbered. At, ooh, what's that numbered out of? The front. Out of 75. Look 25. at this. George Pickens jumbo patch. Yeah. And thick cards are tough to grade. I know. Not the Steve Aoki for 60 bucks signed. Ten, First ten. pitch. That's pretty cool. Shout out Cake Breaks, bro. That's pretty cool. I might snag that at the end. Yeah. Come back. Oh, did you like this? That's cool. Yeah, that's his, that's his RPA, right? Trout rookie year, 2011. Mm -hmm. Gold tops finest. It's just so hard to find. It's, to me, it's a lot like 2012 Prism Gold. 
you know, it's just it's, it's so stupid rare to find. Mm -hmm. I'll what? pay 40 bucks for this. Jackie Robinson short print. Yeah. Let's get it. Unbelievable. I, I have so much Ooh, so nutty. much love for Jackie Robinson. So I really like this 2022 update. Jackie getting his cheek pinched. I just that is incredible. Look at this card. Well we got this one's got some big boys in here. You got the Drew Jones first moment orange auto. Oh, Isn't wow. that Jackson Job's insane? Yeah, super fractor. And then you look at the it, we got we got uh, Ignacio Alvarez. We got two Otani color blasts in here and Acuna. So 2023 MVPs. You like buying cards? Like, do, yep. do you still get to buy cards for yourself? Not recently, but I, I will here soon. It's, I've been so focused on getting this initial inventory. It's been hard to find stuff for myself, really, and be that focused. But, you know, I think now I'm, I'm feel a little bit more flexible with it. There's a lot of cards I want to buy from the shop, to be honest, now, yeah. just by what I see. There's, them. A, there's a King Griffey Jr. Auto 9.5 for about 60. The cheapest Ken Griffey I've ever seen, actually. That's pretty mm -hmm. good. Why don't we take the Otani back? Yeah. Cool. We'll take one of those. It's a PSA 10. Let's, let's stack it. Okay. We'll take it. We'll take it. Good find, JD. That was cool. I'm glad to see this price on Jordan Alvarez because he doesn't get a lot of respect on his prices no. in the hobby. Well, and you know, I think a lot of people don't talk about it, but there's going to be a new AL MVP next year with Otani moving to the NL. You know, who's it, who's it gonna be? I mean, I think Jordan's the favorite. I know Judge can be in the conversation, but Judge doesn't stay on the field besides that one year that he hit, you know, mm -hmm. 62. Right. So, I mean, Jordan. I mean, that's a guy I feel like that's undervalued. That if you, if you want to make a playoff, someone you think is going to win MVP, mm -hmm. that's a player to buy. He's close. I like that. I like that take. All right, anything in here? We got Jackson Holidays. We got tons of those. Chase Young. I, I, I love these. I love all these dynamic duels from Tops oh, yeah. on Demands. Yeah, those are cool. I mean, sometimes I had a, I used to have a, a uh, Cunha Soto Red out of ten rookie. Dude, okay, I gotta do this for my piece here. Are you kidding me? Josh Young, if you're watching this, bro. Look at that. Five bucks on the slot, I like it. I just, I'm gonna start PCing Josh Young. Couple cards here and there. He's a cool guy, he's into the hobby. Oh, Timmy Trumpet, that's sick. The theme song when, uh, yeah. what's that Mitt's pitcher? Uh, I can't think of his name. Diaz. Diaz, yeah. So check this out, Josh Young Spotlights. Pick that, pick that up for our PC. Sold, 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 sold. Kaepernick Blues, Kaepernick Gold. Not the Future Legends, but this one. I think this is an SSP. Posing, yeah. This is a Colin Kaepernick SSP. That's sick. I love this card. That's sick. That's so sick. Literally sold. The blue and the gold, that's cool for the Niners. I think it's going to be interesting because I know that Jim Harbaugh coached Colin Kaepernick and did really well. And I could see Jim Harbaugh, once again, coaching Justin Herbert and doing some amazing things. So, really like those. Connor McDavid, Drew Jim Plus, Young Guns. Jack Hughes, who's another stud. They got some soccer over here too, bro. Somebody went hard on y'all soccer, man. Fifteen dollars for a messy slab sold. Tell me this right now. Fifteen bucks on this? Would you not pay fifteen dollars on this? Same. Tyler Adams, Team USA. I'm yeah. not gonna buy it, but that's a cool card. Cool card. Team USA. The Ronaldo Classic, the 2003. That's crazy. Ronaldo. That's his rookie year. Yeah. Ronaldo. Oh, Ronaldo was a rookie when LeBron was a rookie. I never even connected the dots. F1. Nothing. I have a tough time with F1. Where's Troy when you need him? I know. Where's Troy? Where's T Reich, man? I, oh, I owe you a shout out, Troy, because I lost the basketball game. Oh, yeah. Shout out to T Reich, 415. I bet him $5, or I bet him a shout out that I would he would miss his free throw. Go subscribe to him. He has great F1 and soccer cards. And what does that cue card say? No, I'm just kidding. All right. He's awesome, though. Go subscribe. Yeah. Yeah. I started bench mob with that team. We just hit a Wemby auto. What? They just put a Wemby auto. Stop. In the shop. In the shop. Northern California coming out strong. Are you kidding me? That's great. Out of one box? We bought, we we bought, bought three total. total. Oh, I would just stop now. Yeah, oh my God, seriously, right? That's crazy. Hey, Bayview cards on Instagram? Yeah. That's hot. Let's go. Alex, what do you think of that? I think it's a hell of a pull. I mean, <laughs> what do you got in your hand? Oh, I just well, bought a PC card. That's card. with the Brawny tonight. Did, did you hear a Brawny Red got pulled? I'm buying Mickey Mouse tonight, man. That's a cool card. <laughs> I know this is out of budget, but that's a really cool card from 1931 Can Walt I see Disney. It? Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, this is a cool me? card, this dude. Unbelievable, bro. It's a special one right there. 1931 Walt Disney PSA 4. You gotta be kidding me. Out of my price range for tonight, but cool card. These are what I want. Woohoo! Mickey Mouse, PSA 10. Right there. Another PSA 10. Going back to LA. Let's take them home. Alright. I didn't expect myself to buy Disney tonight. Mama breaks. You buy all the Star Wars cards? 
No, I'm strictly, strictly ripping tonight. What'd you get? Stop it. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I'm not done, <laughs> I'm leaving. I'm not buying anything, that's crazy, wow. So, I told Jeff on the night we came for the preview, I gotta open a box of Masterwork, it's my favorite product of the year. And I need to do it in the breaker arena. I just got one box of Masterwork on the second pack. Why is why are there so many great things happening at this shop? This is awesome. And I'm gonna keep it forever because it's the memory of the first opening song. It's right there. I told him I need a sticker and a stand and that's it. Ma oh my god, it's Hayden Christensen, Matthew Wood, and Ian McDimerad. These are the originals. What do you want for it? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> not for, I just Congrats. said it's not for sale. Congrats, Thank that's you. awesome. Team Rocket, Pokemon, out of my range. Okay, real quick. I gotta talk about this. This looks like me after my second dinner right here, bro. On no cap. That's me after my second dinner. I'm sorry. Pikachu, it's all good. No big deal. I don't know, man. I just don't, I love the original Pokemon, but I'm I just agree. not like, I don't know. I just don't know it. I don't know the other stuff that well. Yeah. So it's just like, I, I'm trying to learn as best I can. Obviously, we hired someone to do all this, but is there stuff that you they specifically have you buy? No, I mean right now Ryan and I are part owners, so we oversee everything inventory wise. So Ryan and I, Ryan kind of focuses a little bit more on the wax, and he dabbles a lot in the cards as well. Uh, my my job is to inventory all these cards uh, mainly. So I'll buy as much as I can, and I'll barcode all these things, and I'll log them. So every card here is tracked completely. Wow. So that's like been the biggest challenge. A lot of card shops just track money in, money out. You know, but we've been able to log every single car, we've been able to track it. I mean, literally right now, we're about to scan all of them and we have it all in our system. Jeff Wilson helped us, my boy Carter helped us, had a great time here. If you guys are ever looking to spend some money, hang out, celebrate the hobby, collect at an affordable price, this is the spot, man. If you guys enjoyed this video, drop a like, leave a comment, don't forget to subscribe, and tell us the hours of the spot. We're gonna be 11 to seven, Monday through Friday, 10 to seven on Saturday, and 10 to five on Sunday. Open every day. Open every day, seven days a week. Seven days a week, non-stop. Yep, and coming soon, 24 hours online. Let's go. You guys, don't forget to tap into our whatnots. We're live streaming. We're gonna actually live stream and give away a bunch of these slabs. Make sure you bookmark those streams. Don't forget to subscribe. Atlanta, we're out.